What's going on, everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott. And as you can see by the title below, I am going to talk about how you, for the most part, if he's the one who got dumped, how you can't compete with the ex, okay? I had uh, some people ask me, God, I've been fixing this the last like four or five videos, man. Come on, let's get this shit together, okay? But I've been... Uh, you know, I had people in the comments talking about how, you know, they'll be talking to someone and be doing this and doing that. They'd be going great. And he's reaching out to her. He's always telling her that he likes her and all these things. But then it doesn't work out and he ends up going back to, back to his ex. And why is that? Like, why are they always going back to their ex? Especially if they're the ones or if the ex is the one who did the dumping. You know, so before we even get into this, if you can, please subscribe. Just click the red button below. Also down below is my free ebook, 254 pages. Again, absolutely free. Talks about everything we talk about in my videos, along with my email and phone session. So here's the thing. Now I said this before in another video, but it's very gosh shit in my fucking eye, right? But it's very important. In the beginning of a relationship, you are in that shallow stage still. There's several reasons why he goes back, and I'm gonna go over them all. But here's the first one, you know, you're in that shallow stage still. And when I mean that, I don't mean that as superficial, you know, like it only, like looks only matter. However, physicality, okay, stimulates the emotion, stimulates the, the, the rapport, everything. It, it, it tenfolds everything uh, to a degree where texting and uh, talking on the phone or well, you know, Facebook, you know, liking his Facebook, uh, his Facebook pictures or anything like that. that. That shit doesn't mean anything, okay? You're still in the very, very infant stage, shallow stage of the relationship. And to, uh, or to get past that, you have to be in front of each other a lot. You have to touch each other a lot. He likes to see how he stimulates you uh, with, you know, what he says, how you react to it. He likes to, you know, it makes him feel like the provider and satisfier. You're not, you're, while you're in that stage, you're not, you cannot compete with a woman who surpassed that stage. You know, you don't have, you might have a connection with him, but you don't have that connection with him that his ex has. You know, even though she dumped him, they still did all, been there, done that. All the things you're doing with him right now, they did that tenfold, okay? They, they probably made love, not just had sex, but they probably made love. They've been together for a long time. They've been through their ups and downs. And as I always say, what grows a relationship is experiencing things together and uh, stimulating uh, emotions. She's done that, okay? Even when she broke up with him and broke his heart, she still stimulated emotions and that created something. Thing, okay so that's number one the second thing is listen man you uh, you just can't compete with an ex there's history that's hard to beat not only that the male ego is heavily involved after a breakup um you know, if she's the one who dumped him, he, you know, while I talk, you know, I might talk to a lot of women on the phone and a lot of my clients would say that they want to get him back or, you know, like revengefully, like, you know, how do I get him back? Like, how do I show him that he missed out on this? How do I show him that he missed out on that? How do I rub it in his face or make him feel like he's, you know, he's an idiot for doing what he did? You know, that all comes from the ego, okay? That's a very ego-driven, uh, um, you know, goal you have there. That's strictly ego, right? You you felt one-upped and you want to get him back. For men, they feel that, but they also feel like, you know, th like they kind of want to get the girl back to see, you know, to see like, you know, see, I still got it. I, I told you I can get her back or I still have it. She still likes me. It's a pride thing for men. So, you know, when she breaks up with him and she's taking him back, of course he's going to go back to it because it's a pride thing. He, it, you know, like it's like she took a piece of the puzzle away from his ego. And she's like, I'm dangling over here. Okay, you can have it, right? And she puts the piece back in. That's how it is for men. See, when women break up with guys, or sorry, when a guy breaks up with a woman, a woman, she might step back, you know, recollect herself, uh, learn from it, and you know, move on. You know, she becomes a smarter woman. She becomes actually the logical one. Or of course, she might be like, you know, a lot of women are like, "Fuck you! I don't believe you did this. I'll show you." Things like that. Uh, women are a lot more smarter with it. Guys are like dogs. You know, you can hit a dog, and a dog will come back to you. But if you hit a cat, you know, that cat ain't gonna come back. So, with that being said, those are the two or three main reasons why you cannot really compete with an ex. It's very, very, very hard unless he's the one who did the dumping. Or he come, came up with some realization that she's just not the one, okay? So with that being said, ladies, I love you. Take care and peace.